Today we will learn about parallel line. So parallel line. So have you seen railway track? Railway track is the best example of parallel line. Parallel line you can define parallel line as when the distance between two lines is constant. A pair of lines are said to be parallel if the distance between these two lines are constant. So when you measure the distance between these two lines anywhere, you find the distance between these two lines are same. So that is parallel line. For example, the opposite edge of bench, desk. See the this board. The opposite edges of this board are parallel. See here top and bottom. The opposite edges of this board are parallel. So parallel line is a pair of line in which the distance between these two lines are constant. When a line shuts these two lines, that is called transversal line and it is denoted by T. Generally it is denoted by T. The parallel line symbolically represent parallel line as a sign of arrow. Arrow sign is used for the parallel line. When you see this parallel arrow sign in between two lines, you automatically understood that the lines are parallel. So when a line cuts these two parallel lines, this is transversal line, we can see here that the line makes eight angles. This transversal line make eight angle with the parallel line. Now we will see the relationship between these angles. So as earlier we know that when two lines intersect each other, then the vertically opposite angles are equal. Like that here, one and three. This line T, transversal line T and line L intersect each other. Then angle 1 and angle 3 are vertically opposite angle. Similarly, angle 2 and angle 4 are vertically opposite angle. And the, by the property of vertically opposite angles, vertically opposite angles are equal. Similar. In short, we can write VOA means vertically opposite angle. Vertically opposite angles are equal. That's why angle 1 equal to angle 3, angle 2 equal to angle 4, angle 5 equal to angle 7, and angle 6 equal to angle 8. These are vertically opposite angles. Here transversal 3 and angle L intersect each other. That's why angle 3, 1 and 3 are vertically opposite angles. Similarly, here 5 and 6 are consecutive pair of linear pair. 
six, seven, seven, eight, and five, eight. So five plus six, angle five plus angle six equal to one hundred eighty degree. Six plus seven equal to one hundred eighty degree. Seven plus eight equals to one hundred eighty degree. Eight plus five equals to one hundred eighty degree. Because it forms a linear pair. Now the next. See angle two and angle six. Angle two and angle six. These pairs of angles are called corresponding angle. Corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are the pair of angles which are equal in measure. Pairs of angle on the same side of transversal but not adjacent. A pair of interior and exterior angle on the same side of transversal but not adjacent is called corresponding angle so angle 2 equals to angle 6 the measure of these pairs are equal angle 2 equal to angle 6 angle 2 and 3 angle 2 is exterior angle angle 3 is interior angle but these two angles are adjacent to each other that's why we can't take it as corresponding angle angle 2 and angle 6 are on the same side of transversal and 2 is exterior But not at the same. That is the pair of corresponding angles. That's why we can write it two equal to six. That is corresponding corresponding angles. Similarly, angle three equals to angle seven. Three and seven are on the opposite side of the transversal. Three is exterior and seven is yeah, three. Seven is exterior but not at the same. Similarly, angle one equal to five and angle four equal to angle eight. That is corresponding angle and the property of corresponding angle is corresponding angles are equal. Now see alternate angle. The property of alternate angle is alternate angles are equal. So what is alternate angle? Interior angles on the same opposite side of the transversal, but not adjacent. A pair of interior angles on the opposite side of transversal, but not adjacent. See here, four and three are on the opposite side of transversal, but these two angles are adjacent to each other. That's why it is not comes under alternate angle. Angle four and angle six. Four and six are on the opposite side of the transversal, but they are not at the same to each other. That is, therefore, that comes under alternate angle. And the property followed as alternate angles are equal. Four angle four equals to angle six. Similarly, angle five, angle three equals to angle five. These are the pairs of alternate angles. Now, next co-interior angle. Co-interior means consecutive interior angles. So sum of consecutive interior angles on the same side of transversal. Sum of consecutive interior angles on the same side of transversal is called co-interior angles. So angles three plus angles six equals to one hundred eighty degree because three and six are on the same side of transversal and it is Consecutive interior, both are interior angles. Angle four plus angle five equals to one hundred eighty degrees. So sum of the co-interior angles is one hundred eighty degrees. Co-interior angle is the sum co-interior means consecutive interior angles, and the property is the sum of the interior angles on the same side of the transversal. Now let us take an example. See here L and M are parallel to each other. Line T is transversal. It forms angle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight angles. If angle one equal to forty degree, if angle one, this angle equals to forty degree. If angle one equal to forty degree, then find the measure of other angles. So except one, what will be the angles? Two remaining angles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have to find the values of, the values of angle two, three, four, five, 
five, six, seven, and eight. So by the first, by the property of parallel line, angle one and angle three are vertically opposite angles, and the opposite angles are equal in measure. That's why angle three equals to angle one equal to forty degree. That is vertically opposite. Angle three and five. See the relation between three and five. Three and five are alternate interior angles or alternate angles, and the alternate angles are equal. That's why angle five equals to angle three, and the value of middle value of angle three is forty degree. Angle five equals to angle three equals to forty degree. That is alternate. Now again, see the relations between five and seven. Five and seven are vertically opposite angle. Therefore, angle seven equal to five equal to forty degree vertically opposite angle. So this way we can find the value of three angles three, five, and seven. And the rest are two, four, eight, and six. Now we have to find the Value of remaining angles. See angle one plus angle two equals to one hundred eighty degree because one and two form a linear pair. Angle one plus two equals to one hundred eighty degree. That is linear pair. Place the value of angle one. Angle one equals to forty degree plus angle two.